Uh, okay. Hi guys, so I uh, went on to Etsy to look for like cat claw thingies and they're all made, most of them are made from filigrees and I didn't want to purchase one because they're way too expensive. So I thought maybe we can make some. So I went on Etsy and got a couple of filigrees. I've got a 20 brass vintage style figurey flat metal finding triangle shaped one. And I've got another one. Um, I ordered them from uh, Smart Parts and um, oh, I thought uh, I guess not. I I don't the other Oh, hold on. I have the other name here. I ordered them from uh, Favored Memories. So here's the business card. I didn't get a business card in the other one. So I thought we could make our own uh, cat claw type ring uh, for your costumes or anything you want. So this is this particular one. And then... So the shapes I got were triangle ones. So there's this there's this style here. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll put it up here. That makes one shape. And then I got this style here. This makes a bigger ring. And then I got this kind, but it doesn't quite look good. So I don't know if I'll use these. Um, so, so you're going to need those for your um, our cat claw rings. Um, or any type of shape like that. You can get bigger ones, smaller ones. So what we're going to do to start off is I'm going to use this... A highlighter or if you have a ring mandrel you can go with that um, so this style here creates uh, this one here which is uh, the longer uh, design looking one alright so to do this to start you are going to take your ring mandrel or your uh, your uh, Parker, preferably be the same size. Um, these are easy to bend, so you're just gonna bring one side down like this. We're just creating the shape, and then bring. So you're gonna bring your side the side down like this to wrap around your ring mandrel or your. Um, your, uh, yeah. So now it's a bigger shape. So now you're going to take your finger and you're just going to push it in. If you feel comfortable shaping it better on the thumb, you can do that too. And then you're going to try to round round your edges up here. Right now it's too big so you're just gonna push until it forms to your finger. You can also see that's that particular style. Ouch. So now that you have two of them you can continue to mold those, and I'll show you with the other uh, fingery one. Fingery. So you got this shape, um, style one. This one you can use yet again your ring mandrel or your marker, and you're just gonna lay it flat and push down like this. So then you're just gonna 
fold it over like this. This is the other shaped one. So it has a smaller encasing. The other one has a longer uh, design. So like I said, you're just going to repeat the steps and then mold them to your finger. And then you'll have all your cat claw uh, metal pieces. So you'll have to do your pinky a little bit different because it's smaller, but you're going to wrap it around as best you can. And then, if you decide to go with all ten, you'll have something that looks like this for both hands, or if you just want to do five or one. But there you go. There are our metal fing... fing eh. Phil Grease um, that I got, and these are the 20 Brass Vintage Style Fingery Flat Metal Findings Triangle Fingery FLO00188A -A from Smart Parts. So if you want to get these to make your claws or your um, cat claw nails, um, I particularly like this design versus the other ones. I mean, the other shape is this one and then the other one. So I hope you make these uh, cat claw fingeries. Um, the, the one I got, these are the these are the ones that I got. They came in a 20, so you'll have enough to make two sets if you want. All right. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you make these uh, cat claw, dragon claw fingerlings. I'm using them for a uh, dragon costume that I'm making, like a human version. So I hope you make these. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.